Okay, next we have the dishwasher. It's a little unorthodox. Again, another European model because it was a 24 inch base, which was, we try to maximize the kitchen space here. Um, traditional, you know, sort of stuff goes in the top up here. Uh, in this case, we've got a knife that needs to be put away, which we will put away. Um, and then below, <clears throat> We've got the pull-out tray, uh, silverware, this comes out, um, fairly straightforward. Um, and then there's this guy, which can also sit on top for organizing your silverware. Uh, you know, however you would like to do your dishes, it's truly really up to you. All right, so put that back. I'm just going to set this on the side for now. Okay, and then also, uh, every once in a while, if the unit isn't draining, simply reach in here. It's super easy to do. Pull this out. Clean that out. Throw it back in. Okay, and that's it. So for the most part, we're, we're good to go here. Not the most, you know, impressive, but it, it works. And then this guy here, uh, make sure it's unobstructed. So that has to spin in order to clean the top of the dishes. Uh, the packets go inside here. You can see I've got one in here now. Um, if you find that the packet isn't releasing or you're having issues or something along those lines, please feel free to just throw it in the bottom here. It'll clean up just fine that way. Okay. And then using the unit. Okay. So we're going to start kind of right to left. Delay start almost never gets used. Okay. How long should it wait for the dishwasher starts, right? One hour, two hours, three, four, up to 12. When it gets back to a number that does have an H, then you know you're good. Three modes, heavy, light, and you know, heavy and auto sense. Heavy is like, you know, heavy dishes. Auto sense, it'll figure out itself. Light is just a light load of dishes. I'm gonna set it to auto sense. It's typically where I leave it. Then we have wash temperature. Um, boost, make it a little bit hotter. Sanitize, make it really hot. And cook it up a longer time. Okay. So then the next thing we wanna do here is close it. It's a little different. We're gonna close this. Then we're gonna press the start button right here. And you'll hear it engage. And there it goes. And the water's gonna start spraying here in a second. It's weird because it literally won't start unless you hit the start button when it's plugged in. Okay, that is a design feature by somebody in Germany who doesn't use these dishwashers all that often a little tricky but anyway you can hear it going and you should have no problems at that point uh, call us if you do thanks